my name is Ariel and today I am bringing you my August TBR. I have explained in the past that I don't really do monthly TBRs but I'm kind of contemplating on changing that because the times when I've made TBRs normally for readathons, which part of this TBR is for a readathon, they've actually really encouraged me to read a lot more. Currently I'm doing the book Junkie Trials and I have read almost six books which the last readathon I did was Newt's or was Owl's readathon and again I read six books which is a lot for me. So I have a feeling that TBR has kind of set me up for success. I won't let the stress get too much to me, but the other reason why I wanted to do a TBR not only for the nudes was because August is my birthday month. I am a Leo. My birthday is August 13th <laughs> and I have heard about the idea of just like trying to fill the month like your birthday month with just a bunch of reads that you think you're gonna love. So I try to stack as many books that I think are potential five star reads in this TBR and I wanted to share those with you guys. So first I will be going over my prompts for the newts. So if you don't know, I'm going to be or I'm going for a magizoologist because I love animals and um, for newts I only actually have three books that I would need to read in order to pass and become a magizoologist. I need an O in Care of Magical Creatures and I need an Exceeds Expectations in both Charms and Herbology. So with that being said, I will go ahead and introduce those books now and then everything else is just going to be books that I want to get through in the month of August. So in order to get an outstanding in Care of Magical Creatures, the prompt for this is to grab onto Fox's tail and read a book that has a bird on the cover. My cat is making noise off screen. Um, so for that I have chosen Spin the Dawn, which I don't know if you can see but it has this beautiful like death raven in the back. And this from what I've, this I got in my owl crate box by the way. My phone is going off, why does it always happen right now? So this I got in my first ever owl crate box and this is about um, a girl who enters this competition of like seamstresses, well seam tailors I guess because they're not seamstresses. The only ones that are allowed to make clothes for royalty are usually men but she is entering this tournament and is disguising herself and yeah but it looks really cool. I've heard someone already read this on Goodreads and they gave it a high rating so I'm hoping that this is awesome. So this will be my Care of Magical Creatures read Spin the Dawn by Elizabeth Lim. The next class I need to take is Herbology and in order to the passing grade is an exceeds expectations and the prompt for that is to read a book between 350 and 390 pages and for that I am choosing Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Now during the last readathon I read The Philosopher's Stone so why not with this readathon and continue with the Chamber of Secrets and just hop on a little reread. So I am using this book as like because if you look at it it is between those page numbers. Also I just noticed this little Dobby on the back. I love this illustration of him so much but I really want to buy myself the illustrated edition of Chamber of Secrets and I don't know how many pages that is. It's probably gonna go over the 300 mark because it's illustrated but I mean it's still the same book are we gonna give me well she just says that you have to have fun with it so like technically this version has that many pages but if I end up getting the Chamber of Secrets version uh, illustrated edition I'm definitely gonna be reading that because it's my birthday I need to treat myself and I think she would forgive me for cheating a little bit but this would be my herbology read so I apologize that the lighting might be a little bit crap now, but I had to close my blinds a little bit because someone is literally right outside. This has happened many times before and I hate it. We're gonna keep the video going. <laughs> so for my last class, which is Charms, I have to read, or for any exceeds expectations, I need to read a graphic novel. And for this, I don't actually have the physical book because the first volume I got at the library. And I'm gonna be choosing the manga, I think it's L, it says L Heart DK. I really don't know how you would pronounce that, but that's what I'm going to be reading. The guy's right outside again, so a little bit distracted. Um, but this manga is about a prince who is like kind of, he's like a working class prince. Don't really know how that makes sense. But he and this girl are going to college and she is living on her own and at first she kind of hates him because he seems to like just be like rude to girls or like turns them all down. Specifically he turns her best friend down. Just basically kicks her to the curb. They end up being neighbors though, the main character whose name is... I'm blanking right now. 
but her best friend's name is Mo, my cat. But they end up being the prince and her end up being neighbors and they form a sort of friendship. Well, because she ends up setting off the fire alarm and like the sprinklers on his house and his apartment and damaging it. In order to make up for that, he ends up living in the apartment with her while his gets his carpet and stuff gets replaced. So obviously there's a little bit of sexual tension going on, but she feels guilty. She is determined not to like him and she feels guilty because he kicks her best friend to the curb and she's worried that her best friend still likes him. And yeah, so I've already finished the first volume of this, so I'm going to read the second one, and that is what I'm going to choose for my charms read. Okay, and for the rest of my uh, TBR, I didn't really look at any of the prompts for the rest of the nudes. I was only concerned about the classes that I needed to take because I didn't want to stress myself out with taking as many classes as possible. Three was enough for me, and now these are just books that I want to get to that I think are going to be five-star reads, and that's why I'm including this and that's why I'm including them in this TBR. So the first one I want to get to is Clockwork Angel by Cassandra Clare. Now I need to read this before I continue on in the Mortal Instruments series. This will be like the first Cassandra Clare book that is new to me so I'm excited. I know a lot of people like the Infernal Devices series and everyone talks about Will and I don't know everyone loves this one so I just want to read it and know what everyone's talking about so hopefully I will give this a five star. The next book that I have on my TBR is Zodiac by Romina Russell. Now you already heard me talk about being a Leo. I love being a Leo because what Leo does love him being a Leo. I'm not super duper into Zodiac stuff, but like I do have like a Zodiac book that I might show you guys some later time. <laughs> That's why I picked up this. It sounds really interesting. This is in like a sci-fi book where there used to be 13 houses, but one of them got destroyed and an ancient evil that could destroy them all. And I think the House of Cancer, bless their emotional heartwarming souls, I guess are gonna try and take charge and save everyone but yeah so that is what this book is the next book that I have I wanted to include because to take a break from all the fantasy and the sci-fi going on plus this is something that my boyfriend chose so I thought it'd be sweet to include this I have the mysterious Benedict Society by Trenton Lee Stewart this is a middle grade book there's a mysterious kind of like test that you can take her and you can kind of do the tests along with like the kids that are in this I don't know it sounds really interesting it looks really cute um, it is quite a bigger middle grade book, but I'm hoping it'll be a breeze and because that's what I love middle grade books. They always are like the easiest, they're always like a lot of fun, and so that's what I'm hoping this will be. So I have two more physical books to show you, and then two more that I don't have yet, but I hopefully will. The first one is Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. Now, to be honest, I don't know anything about this. And the way that people talk about it is you should go into reading it not knowing anything about it because that's the best way to experience it is just to be surprised and let it take you away. So I honestly haven't read the synopsis to this other than the fact that I know everyone who's pretty much read it has given it a high rating. So that is why I wanted it on this TBR. Not gonna look much into it other than I think it obviously has something to do with dreams because the second one is called Music Nightmares. Also I know it's like heart-wrenching and I think it's pretty self-explanatory aside from that. The next book that I have is Skyward by Brandon Sanderson. Again, I've heard a lot of people give this five stars, so that's why I'm including it on my birthday month TBR. And this is about a girl named Spensa who goes to like this pilot school and she's there to prove herself. The guy has walked out. I thought he was gone. <laughs> She goes there to prove herself because her dad was an ex-pilot but he abandoned his crew and he was branded as a coward so everyone thinks that she is going to follow in his legacy and be a coward herself but she has something to prove and wants to show them all wrong. Again, I heard a lot of people love it. The action scenes people say are really great. The way he describes things. This is my first Brandon Sanderson book and I'm excited to read it. So the last two books are I don't actually have. One of them I honestly don't even know the name of it yet because I want to read whatever the next Taylor Jenkins readathon book is. Whatever they announce it, I'm going to read it because I love Jamie, I love Jacob, and I love Isabella. And so I'm not even the biggest Taylor Jenkins read fan. I'm just reading it so I can like pretend to be friends with them, <laughs> to be honest. Um, so I'm going to read that. Same thing goes with the third book in the Percy Jackson series, and which I believe is The Titan's Curse, and I want to read that to participate in the Reading Riot and Readathon. Now I actually really love the Percy Jackson series, so this one is different than Taylor Jenkins' read. I also think that I would really enjoy this. I've given... So far, I'm almost done with Sea of Monsters, and it's sitting at like a four star. So I have given them pretty high ratings. I hope Titan's Curse is even better than the first two. And so I'm super excited to read that during my birthday month. But those are the two books that I don't physically have that I also plan on reading in the month of August. Anyway, 
anyways, that is all I have for this video today. Now, I might not stick strictly to this TBR. I might wander off besides those three that I have planned for the newts because I'm pretty set in those ones. But I'm planning on buying myself a lot of books and who knows, I might pick them up. Oh my god, wait, I forgot. There is one more book that I need to include. Definitely. Two books at least, actually. Man, this TBR is getting a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be, but these ones I definitely need to read. So those last two books, this is <laughs> becoming a very ambitious TBR, is Scythe by Neil Shusterman and Thunderhead by Neil Shusterman, because after August comes September, and The Toll is coming out in September, therefore, I definitely, definitely, these are 100%, along with the nudes, going to be on my TBR. I don't know how I could have forgotten about them. Um, I had them planned in my head earlier, but it just, like, flopped out of my mind when I was piling my books. But these I definitely need to read in the month of August. I want to reread this and also get to Thunderhead so I can get to the toll right in September. So these are for sure is on my TBR. I'm not going to go in too deep into explaining what the premise of Scythe is because I feel like a lot of people have heard about it on booktube. You already know what it's about most likely. But it's basically set in the future where humanity has basically gotten rid of all natural causes of death. And the only way in order for someone to die in this world is for someone to be gleaned by a scythe who are basically in charge of killing people in order to keep the population under control. And it follows two characters who are apprentices to scythes and are basically in this like competition. That's all you need to know. It's amazing. It'll fuck with your mind a little bit. But you know, that's why I love it and that's why I want to read it and that's why it's on this TBR. Okay, I think now we can say that we're done with this TBR. Now that I have like way more books than I thought I was going to in the beginning of this, but you know what? We're gonna be ambitious, we're gonna be our Leo selves, we're gonna be confident, and we are gonna do this! And if we don't, we'll just play it off anyways, because you know what? It doesn't matter. No sweat off my shoulders, because I'm fabulous. Thank you, and goodbye. <laughs> Just kidding, but kind of not really. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what books you guys are planning to read in the month of August, and let me know your astrological sign, because I love learning that about people. Um, anyways, I hope you guys have a fantastic day, and that is it for this video. Bye!